Hi, today we're going to see how to create a new overlapping text effect in GIMP. So first we need to create a new image, go to File, New. The image width is 1920 and the height is 1080, press OK. And now press the minus corner keyboard to zoom out. And now I'm going to change the color of this layer, so click on the background color. I'm going to use this blue color, so here's the HTML notation. And then press OK, and now I'm just going to drag it. So here it is. And now I'm going to use the text tool. The font I'm going to use is Montserrat Heavy and the size is going to increase the size to 350. And the color is white. So now I want to create each letter on its own layer. So we need to create a text box here for each letter. So left click, and then I'm going to type the O. And then here I'm going to create a text box down here, new text box. So here it is, and now I want to add another one here. So here, as you can see, each letter is in on its own layer. So here the R. So this is overlap the word here. So I'm going to select the alignment tool. I'm going to align it horizontally. So I'm going to drag over all the layers here of the text here. And now I'm going to click on this icon, make sure the align is relative to the image, and then left click. So here it is. And now select the move tool. And now I want the letters here to be on top from the left to the right. For example, the O will be on top of the V and the V on the E. So now I'm going to move all the last letters here, the first one, so that the last one is the letter P, and the first one is the O. So I'm going to move here the O, and here the V under the O. So here it is, as you can see, the last letter is the P letter, and the first one is the O. So we have overlap, and now I'm just going to select the Move tool. So now I'm going to move the letters here to cover the other layers here, so like this. And now for the E, I'm going to move it, so keep the Control key. So keep the control key down here while moving the layers here to move it on the same line. So here like this. And now I'm going to select the R. I'm going to move it. So here like this. And then here the L. I'm going to move it like this. And here the A. So here and at last this one here, the P. So here, keep the control key here while moving to move it horizontally like this on the same line. Now I will select the O, I'm going just to make it overlap the V, so like this. So now I'm going to add a drop shadow to each letter layer here. So I'm going to go to filters, light and shadow, then drop shadow, drop shadow window, so here it is. Now here I can increase, for example, the opacity here. So here you can increase, you can here change the direction. So I'm going to keep it from this side here to be overlapping the letters here. So like this, increase a little bit the opacity. So like this, and then press OK. And now select the V letter. And now I'm just going to repeat the filter here, the same filter. So go to filters, and then just click on repeat drop shadow or just click on control F. So I'm going to click for now on repeat drop shadow. So here it is. And now I'm going to select the E and then control F. So here, as you can see, it repeated the filter and then here the R, control F, the L, control F, the A, control F, and the P, control F. So here it is. And now I'm going to select the move tool. I'm going to Move a little bit the letters here, like this so here. And then for the E, I'm going to move it upward. So keep the control key down here to move them on the same line. Then here the R. So like this, I'm going to move it down a little bit here, like this. And then the L. Here and now for the E here, I'm going to move it here, like this. So here it is. And now I'm going to hide the background layer, so I'm going to merge down all these layers here, the letter layer, so here it is, just click on this icon. 
so this is a last one now let's show the background again by clicking on the eye icon and now select the alignment tool left click on the text here and then let's align it horizontally and then vertically and now i'm just going to add new transparent layer so click on this icon fill it with transparency and then press ok i'm going to add some colors here so i'm going to select the ellipse selection tool and now i'm just going to draw perfect circle like this keep the control key and shift key down so like this and now i'm going to move this circle here like this press center and now i'm going to color this selection here i'm going to select an orange color so this one here press ok and then i'm just going to drag it so here it is now go to select none so i'm going to place it under the text so here it is and now i'm going to duplicate this layer so here it is i'm going to select the move tool i'm going to move it down here like this and now i'm going to select the scale tool i'm going to left click so keep the control key down here as you can see the chain icon here is linked so keep the control key down here to scale it proportionally like this and now i'm just going to move it here like this press enter and now i'm going to change its color so right click here to image size and I'm going to change its color so go to colors and either select hue and saturation or colorize I'm going to go for hue and saturation I'm going to move the window here and then here I'm going to select the hue I want so here now press ok you can still move it so here like this it will be right under the text and then select the top one and now I'm going to merge everything so here just click on this icon here so here it is last one I right click layer to image size so I think that's it that's how you can create an overlapping text effect in GIMP thanks for watching have a nice day and uh, till next time